Shalom, 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 Yasharala back at it again with another Lord's Word to edify and listen to the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. But before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And next, our double honors to our elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone. Who still out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100 percent truth according to the Bible and Haruel and Shalawan Blabakoyan Wabarakiam Shayashivala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel in the Lashiwan Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. This is the book of Zephaniah 3, verse 5. It says, The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light, he fell of not. But the unjust knoweth no shame. So the just Lord, the righteous Lord, the, the Lord that we serve. Okay, Yahweh, that's who the word ignorant calls God. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shah, that's who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ, man. Okay? That's the just Lord. That's executing true justice on the planet Earth by paying everybody what they deserve, man. Okay? Even when we receive judgment, we we deserve it, man. For the wickedness we committed in our past life, but the difference is between us and the two-thirds of our people is that we repent daily for it. And we know the names. We fear the names. So when the Lord brings that hell on us, which are ultimately test us, Okay, we pray for the strength to endure it in the name of Yahweh by Shema Shah. You know, and the Lord deliver us out of all our troubles, man, on the Lord's time. But the two thirds of our people, which are the unjust, they don't know no shame. They don't care about it. They don't consider. All right. And therefore, they're going to keep doing their wickedness, man. Okay, as the year goes on. Now, the spirit of the Lord um, hopped on me while ago to uh, look up the deletions in 2024 already. It ain't nothing but what? Day what? Four. January 1st. No, January 4th, 2024. The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, right? Now let's read. It says school deletions this year. How many so far? Okay. It says man deleted in first Philly homicide in, of 2024, police say. So a man is already deleting multiple people in one, in one, what's the word, in one place, man, for in one area already, okay? Already deleting people in 2024, ain't nothing but the fourth. And who's doing that? Yeah, how about Shimmy how was shy? Why? Because that was the spirit created for vengeance, as a matter of fact. That the Lord gave the order to do that. The same one that it says it's all about loves, hugs, and kisses is the same one that's bringing a judgment upon everybody for their wickedness. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 39 and 28. It says there be spirits that are created for vengeance. And that's one of them. It says man deleted in first Philly homicide of 2024. You know what I'm saying? You know, a homicide is, is, is more than one, you know? So he got deleted well, right along with his companions or those other spirits. And who ordered that the Lord? There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, severe strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and they appease the wrath of him that made them. You see that? And you best believe that pleased the Lord. You know, that, you, that pleased you how about Shema Shah? Because the angels do the work of the Lord perfectly. Okay? How the Lord wants it to be done, was the word? Strategically, that's how it's going to happen. Verse 29, hell is like a fire and hell and famine and death. All these was created for the, it's like a, all these were created for vengeance. Get a side to read the scriptures like these, man. Because these people deserve it, man. All they did was walk, walk, pass, scoff. Because you got men of the Lord out there in Philadelphia, man. Diligent men of the Lord, man, of GMS. 
And what do our people do? They mock, scoff, they walk past, they ignore. So the Lord turn, is going to turn it up more this year, man. This year, Jacob, you are in trouble, man. Okay? You are in trouble. Like the brothers in Atlanta was going into. That's, how they, that's what they titled their lesson, man. It says, T for wild beasts and scorpions. As a matter of fact, I was watching, ooh, I was at the gym and I was watching the news and they had a, a story about dogs attacks already in 2024, man. What you think that's going to happen when, throughout the year? That's going to turn up, man. That's going to intensify. And who's doing that? Who's ordering that? Yahweh by Shemar Shah. And those are spirits created for vengeance. Okay? Just like these different snowstorms and all that. That's what, those are spirits created for vengeance too. It says, uh, Tifa, wild beasts, and scorpions, and serpents, and the sword. It says, punishing the wicked to destruction. Matter of fact, verse 31. It says, they shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they will not transgress his word. You see that? Because the angels fear you by Shema Shah. And when you fear the Lord, you obey his word, man. Just like I said in Sirach 2 and 15, they that fear you by Shema Shah will not disobey his word, man. And we do that to the best of our abilities, but the angels being in that spiritual bodies, they do it perfectly. They fear the Lord perfectly, man, because they don't go off, you know? But we go off in his flesh, but we repent daily for it. And the water y'all by Shema Shah was putting the spirit on us to do that. So now back into the article. It says, Big Trials in Franklin County in 2024 exclude three ex-officers charged with deletions damn all freaking ready uh oh it says 18 year old at friendship heights hotel in dc's first homicidal deletion of 2024 see another homicide man see this year is coming out with a bang already people deleting multiple people in one area or one place already man those are spirits created for vengeance Matter of fact, um, hold on. And they ain't get away. Matter of fact, let's see here. Uh, let's go to Deuteronomy. I'm going to read one more, then I'm going to get this scripture. Let's see. It says, Indianapolis deletions in 2024. Yeah, already. And, and notice there's an S at deletions. So that's plural. Already. Already. The year just started. It's the fourth day. Hey, like Sega Edges 14 and 16 says, greater evils than what you've seen uh, last year is going to happen this year, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no power with me. Right, there's no Jebus up there. There's no God up there. There's no um, Ahia, Yeshia, Yahshua. Yahweh, Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, Guadalupe, whatever the hell you people call those idols, man. They ain't up there with the spirit world with Yahweh by Shema uh counseling with the Lord about decisions. Now, nah, the Lord, what the Lord says is going to happen, is going to happen, man, on his time. And, and, and guess what? We're seeing it. We're reading it now. All the deletions, this, this is on the Lord's time. The Lord says, I've acquired that spirit today, and this is how it's, how it's going to go. And, and the angels when it did it. It says, I delete, and I make alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So there ain't no escaping the judgment, say Yahweh Bashim and Shah. None at all. Let's see here. All right. Let me see here. Um, it says, um, Pablo, I got you. It says, Pablo Coroner IDs City's first deletion. That's all I'm going to say for now. On deletions, victim of 2024. It says, man. Man fatally banged two other wounded while sitting inside home 
on westward side. You see that? And that was three days ago. So that was on the 1st of January, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year with a bull in the side of you. You know? Now you in the hospital about to, the about to lose your life, man. If the Lord if the Lord says so, you know? Cause to be fatally fatally shot, man. Hey man, shoot. That's life threatening. You know? A, a fatal wound is, is is a life threatening wound, man. So you were sitting inside your crib celebrating this wicked, unholy day called New Year's, which it ain't really the New Year, you know, and then the Lord had the Spirit created for vengeance come and bang you um, and two others. So three people understanding, and we understand why it happened, because the Lord was judging your ass for your wickedness, man, you know? As a matter of fact, it says the Lord wounds and he heals. So the Lord decides to heal them and to, you know, have them live their lives. That was, that's up to you. How about Shema Shah? And they're going to receive a greater judgment if they don't repent, if their ears are lies, which more likely their ears are lies. You know, it says um, at least one deleted in in banging at, uh, um, I, uh, damn, Iowa high school suspect also deleted see that damn so hey hey that's what you gotta look forward to in 2024 man way more uh deletions you know what i'm saying from me how about shim and how Hashem shot dash so let's get some more scriptures Just wanted to go through a few of them. I ain't gonna make this lesson too long. This is the book of 1 Samuel 2, verse 6. It says, The Lord, the, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. So any condition that you play in in life, whether you're harmed, whether you're wounded, whether you heal, whether you're poor, whether you're rich. Whether you're catching hell or whether you're doing good, it's all up to you. How about Shema Shah and the Lord put you there, okay, for, for his purpose, okay? As a matter of fact, since I mentioned that, hold on. Got to bring out one of our favorites. Got to bring out one of our favorites after I mention that statement. This is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 11. Uh, hold on. Ecclesiasticus, bear with me, hold on. It's Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 11, verse 14. It says, Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Knowledge, it's like your wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the law or of the Lord. Love and the way of good works are from him you see that so the lord controls both sides of the spectrum because the lord controls the mind period so the righteous works that we do that's of the lord or the wicked works these people do that's of the lord and there's a reward for both of them so like i always say to the two-thirds that receive judgment of you how about shimmy how shy okay for living that wicked ass life man congratulations and there's gonna be more lord's willing and i do um uh, uh, news article regions on that okay in 2024 because hey congratulations that's that's this is what you wanted so therefore you got it as a matter of fact hold on hold on hold on bear with me bear with me hold up hold up hold up this is what they asked for right this is what they love to do they love living that wicked ass wild lifestyle right they was born to be wild, and that's rock songs, like that rock song set, rock song song says, right? Because this is the book of uh, Proverbs eight and verse thirty six. But he or she that sinneth against me with sin is the transgression of the law, statutes, commandments of the scriptures. So they're out there gang banging, getting tattoos, committing adultery, idol worshiping, getting lineups, stealing, envying. You know what I'm saying? 
taking the Lord's name in vain. All right. Because that's just also includes those that call themselves Israelites. But uh, being a bunch of hypocrites, man. Because you got a lot of jakes out there to know that they're Hebrew Israelites, but they still in this dad going to follow it. So therefore, the Lord is uh, deleting y'all asses as well, man. You see that? So this is the book of, because uh, everybody heard about the Hebrew Israelites. That's why the Lord is intensifying the judgment. The Lord says, listen, man, I ain't holding my tongue no, no more concerning their wickedness, man. That's why the judgments are intensifying and they're increasing at a rapider pace. This is the book of uh, Proverbs 8, verse 36. It says, but he or she that sinneth against me wrong of his own soul. All, not some, all, not few, all they that hate me love death. And how do you prove that you hate the Lord when you disobey his word, man? Especially when the men of the Lord out there diligently for years telling you the do's and the don'ts according to the Bible. Okay, beginning with Elder High Priest of Bivens, you know? Pushing this truth for, you know what I'm saying, the late 60s, early 70s, you know. Then you had, you know, uh, Elder High Priest Arya, you know what I'm saying, Elder High Priest Jaiqua, King Masha, you know what I'm saying. On down the line, then you had, you know, the Elder Apostles, you had the Elder Bishops, you know what I'm saying. Then down to 2007 with the with the uh, Zaquanium, the Camp Heads, you know. To younger brothers such as myself, man, you know, telling you bonehead so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians for years, man, that you better repent because things is only going to get worse, all right? And if you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed, and you're seeing it, and it's going to continue to happen, all right? Because they hate the Lord, so therefore the Lord says, since you hate, since you love death so much, okay, since you love it so much, well, here it is. You know what I'm saying? Have it with interest. You know what I'm saying? You know how you love a job? You know how Jake, when they go to a job and they love it, they break their back forward and they work there for years to get to the high position? Well, that's what the, that's what the two-thirds are doing spiritually, man. They want to become the most ultimate wicked demon, you know what I'm saying, in this world. So therefore, the Lord's like, okay, since you hate me so much and you've proven that you hate me, well, therefore, I'm going to crush you, man. I'm going to stack up your tab, but then I got the perfect judgment or oh, wait, you know, I got the perfect spirit created for vengeance. That's going to, that's going to do, that's going to do something horrific to you, man. You know? So, hey, let us all keep fearing you. How about Shem al by Shem al So, hey, with that, Lord's willing, this lesson was edifying. So, next time I say, Shalom, Lord's willing.